This summer, 200,000 students like you will spend your gap year abroad. Most of you are going to have a really great time. Uh, Singapore was a Singapore was beautiful. Gorgeous. Africa, Kenya, Tanzania, Zanzibar. Koh Phi in Thailand. Um, just the atmosphere there was fantastic. You're going to meet new people, see new places, and come back with memories that will stick with you forever. I don't know how to cook properly. <laughs> I've met so many people along the way, and all those places you read about when you were younger in all the books, I've actually been there, seen it and done it. I've learnt to scuba dive and been out horse riding along the beach and trekking in the jungle. Getting to know like, different cultures and stuff like that. Made me a better person. Made so many friends and uh, found some confidence and just had the best time of my life. Hi there, I'm Blair McDonough, but you probably know me as Stuart from Neighbours. Welcome to Erinsborough. Now, a lot of you out there will be planning a trip to Australia in your year out, and I don't blame you. It's a cool place, but it is a foreign country. And when you're abroad, well, things aren't quite the same, are they? The first night I actually arrived in Bangkok, and we were just getting a cab down into the main part of town. He ended up taking us down this like, dodgy looking back alley and it looked like it was like a sex club or something he was trying to take us to and, and loads of people came out and tried to usher us in the door and a lot of uh, doormen getting quite aggressive with us like like trying to get money out of us so and in the end we just sort of turned around and like legged it down the street. So. I'm staying in Nairobi, uh, checked into a cheap hostel um, in quite a remote, not very well lit area. Totally out of blue, a guy came out with what looked like a machete knife and uh, threatened us and uh, took our money off us, um, which we obviously gave over, <laughs> and then, um, yeah, complete shock. I got dropped off in Thailand in the middle of nowhere, um, and nobody spoke English, and I didn't know where to stay, I didn't know where to go, and this Thai guy approached me and said, would you look a bit lost, can I help you, you know, I can get you a hotel for the night. At the time, I didn't know what to do, I was so scared. Um, but I ended up taking his help and in the, at the end of the day he was a good guy but it could have turned out a lot worse. Now don't get me wrong, accidents happen everywhere but sometimes it's down to you. That's what this film's about, having good times but safe times, being smart. Anyway, here's a story to show you what I mean. It's about two guys from the UK, it's their gap year and Sydney is their first call. That bar must be around here somewhere. Yeah, the guy in the hostel said just head towards the river. Yeah, but where is the river? I don't know, do I? Well, where are we then? Look, there's the river. So we can take a shortcut up here. I'm just going to check that the guys are still there. That's oh, strange, I haven't got a signal. Oh, don't worry about it, come on. Come on, Dom, let's go back. You are? There could be trouble. What's wrong with you? They're not going to hassle us. What do you reckon? Is Steve being paranoid? I mean, these guys could be trouble. Uh, maybe not. Who knows? Anyway, let's see what happens. Excuse me, guys. Don't touch me, mate. I just want to get through. Yeah? Yeah. What, mate? What's the problem? I'll tell you what the problem is, mate. I'm sick of you bloody backpackers walking around thinking you own the bloody place. What, this place? Yeah. You're having a laugh. This place is a dump. You what? Come on, Dom, let's go. Come on, Dom, let's go. Who's this then, your boyfriend? Where do you think you're going? Look, mate, we just want to go and have a beer, all right? No, it's not all right. Now empty your pockets. Come on, guys. Shut your mouth. I'll ask you one more time. Empty your pockets. OK. Don't do it, Steve. I thought I told you to shut your mouth. It's all right, Dom. No, it's not. Now listen. No, you listen. Do as I say or, or what? <laughs> Steve! Steve! You right, mate? Steve! Oh, God! Help! Somebody help me! Come on, you bastard! Not such a good place to leave the guys, eh? But this story could have ended very differently if, well, how do you think they should have handled things? No, it's 
Oh, All right, empty your pockets. I'll ask you one more time. Empty your pockets. Okay. Don't do it, Steve. I thought I told you to shut your mouth. It's all right, Dom. No, it's not. No, listen. No, just shut it, Dom. Yeah, just take it. Steve, you dick. Don't listen to him, mate. No, why do you always have to have the big man? You are. Look. Just hand over your stuff, Dom. Hand it over, Dom. You heard him. Dom, hand it over. There's a good boy. Now piss off, the both of you. Come on. <laughs> Keep walking, you dickhead. You might want to get stabbed, but I don't. Now, if Dom and Steve had done some basic preparation, they would have never got themselves into a situation like that. A little bit of local knowledge can go a long way. Always know where you're going. Plan a route and ask someone reliable for advice about where to go. If you see trouble, or even what could be trouble, just avoid it and never rely on your mobile phone. They can be handy but unreliable abroad. And if you do hit trouble, try and stay calm. And if need be, back down. If it's money or your mobile phone thereafter, just hand it over. However much it's worth, your own life is worth a lot more. And if you've got insurance, what's the problem anyway? Well, that's the boy's story. But for girls, travelling together can mean something very different. Meet Kelly and Joe. They're taking a year out before starting their uni courses next year. Now, it doesn't take a genius to guess that they're tourists. The rucksacks are a dead giveaway. Two lagers, please. Certainly. Hey, check out the talent. Kelly. Oh, I don't fancy you as much. We've only just arrived. I think we're in. Give it a rest, would you? Shut up, Joe. They're coming over. G'day ladies. G'day. Just arrived? Yeah, this afternoon. Nice one. You're gonna love it around here. Loads of bars and clubs. Where are you staying? The hostel on Low Road. Kelly. We'll show you how to get there if you like. Thanks, but I've printed out a map from internet. I bet your map doesn't tell you what a rough place Low Road is. Really? Yeah, it's pretty bad down there, especially if you're not a local. Hey, why don't we have a few drinks here and then we'll give you a hand with your stuff in it? Best off you're gonna get all night. Sounds reasonable, doesn't it? They seem like nice guys, and they probably are. But what if they're not? So? Thanks. Come on, Joe. Like you said, it might be the best offer we get all night. Nice one. Grab a seat. What about you, Joe? I'm fine. Same again then, boys. So you enjoying the Three more of the same, please. What do you think you're playing at, Kelly? Two words, Joe. Having fun. There's plenty of time for that later. What's the matter with you, Joe? Are you jealous or something? No. Then lighten up, will you? Come on, we're whaling with these two. Everything all right, girls? We're fine, aren't we, Joe? Oh. <laughs> Never leave your valuables unattended. It only takes seconds to lift a passport or your credit cards. But things could have been a lot worse for Kelly and Joe. That later. What's the matter with you, Joe? Are you jealous or something? No. Then lighten up, will you? Come on, we're whaling with these two. Everything all right, girls? We're fine, aren't we, Joe? Sadly, drug rape is on the increase. Never leave drinks unattended. You want to spend your holiday on the beach, not in the hospital. But things here can work out differently again. Who knows what's going to happen, eh? Cheers. Joe, you're acting like my mother. I'll give you five minutes. If you want to go, just go. Right, I will. I'll call you later, make sure you're all right. I'm sure I'll be all right. I'm sure we are. Oh, 
Be off then, mate. The girls should never have separated. You should stick together at all times. Now, the vast majority of people that you'll meet during your gap year will be friendly, honest, and just out for a good time like you. But how do you know if they're not? Simple, you don't. That doesn't mean that you have to be unfriendly or cold to anyone that says g'day. Just be smart. Never tell strangers personal details, such as where you're staying. Keep your cash, cards and passport out of sight and keep their details somewhere safe. And don't leave your bags or your drinks unattended. Just be smart. And no matter how much your travel mate is getting on your nerves, he or she might be the only person who can help you in a bad situation. Most importantly, listen to your instincts. If a little voice is telling you that something isn't quite right, get yourself out of there. You can always walk away. Sure, you might hurt someone else's feelings, but you may also save your life. Now, I bet some of you are still thinking, none of this will ever happen to me. And for most travellers, the worst thing that happens is a bit of sunburn and the odd hangover. But occasionally, things do go wrong. What you've seen here is a story. And this story didn't happen. But for some people, their own story is all too real. For Caroline Stuttle, things went so badly wrong, she lost her life. Caroline Stuttle's big adventure in Australia was brutally ended when she was attacked and then thrown to her death from a road bridge. Her body was found at the foot of Bundaberg Bridge. Police think she was pushed or fell from the top of it while being robbed of her handbag and mobile phone. The 19-year-old student from York had been taking time out from her studies to talk Queensland before returning to Britain and a university course later this year. Caroline and her best friend were on the trip of a lifetime to Australia. They were taking a year out before settling down to study for their degrees. They arrived in Bundaberg to work as tomato pickers and pitched up in a local campsite. Up till then, they had a great time and done everything right. But one evening, Caroline left her mate and walked to a phone box to call her boyfriend in England. On the way back, she was mugged and thrown off a bridge. Her body was found later. She was still clutching the strap of her bag. The police think that she fought to hang on to her possessions. If she hadn't and had let her attacker have them, she may still be alive today. Stories like Caroline's are thankfully rare. And by keeping your wits about you, you can make them even rarer. That's why her family set up Caroline's Rainbow Foundation to give support and advice to travellers. She was a fantastic girl, so bubbly, so much energy, um, always busy always doing something, never enough time, always rushing about, always willing to help others. Um, just a, a very special young girl. Initially, her death affected me by just total devastation. Total devastation, you didn't know what to do, didn't know um, how to react in any way. Um, after a while, it's like there's a big hole in your heart and it'll never ever be filled. And it's that, just that part of me, uh, my sister is gone and as the time passes you just learn to live with yourself and you just learn to live with with you and what's left i believe that caroline's situation although it was very tragic it is possible to happen to somebody else um, that's one of the reasons that the foundation if not the main reason the foundation has been set up in order to try and prevent this and make people a little more aware of um, the surroundings and what could happen the bad things in life as well as the good I'd like backpackers to be aware of the, where they are and to embrace the cultures and the societies that they go in and they're travelling in and to, to just be aware of the, the surroundings and the, the possible dangers. Okay, that's about it then. But don't get me wrong, no one's saying don't travel. Actually, just the opposite. And what I say is go for it. Just be smart, be safe and have a great time. And I think you will too. No worries.